About two years ago, something really freaky happened while I was on a ha hack with a few with my friend. My friend and I had a riding lesson when we used to go to this one stable together. Of course, I didn't go there anymore since I was moving at the time. So I was basically moving in 2019. So before the move, I actually had an experience that I will never forget. I seriously remember that it was the summertime and it was around I guess the second final week of school, which of course we had a week off from riding lessons due to school starting and people wanting to, you know, go on last vacations before school had started again as usual. So I kind of really have to say that it wasn't really that bad, but we did enjoy riding lessons. Now we rode English, so after our lesson one day, we were going to go on a hack around the back of the field. Now, we usually go behind the house where the owners live, so I was on a horse named Jazz while my, f my friend was on a horse named Livingston, and we were going up to the back of the field. We passed by, by one of the pastures that did, was not far from the house. When we did, there were usually a mare and a foal there, but in this case, there was just maybe a horse. Of course, he was usually by himself and he liked to see people well, coming by when they were on the trails. Sometimes he would like to go there too. My friend and I passed by the house and all that and we were getting close to the back of the field or the cross country field that they were going to turn into. I paused and stopped my dead in my tracks and my friend asked me, are you okay? I said there was something in the distance and I couldn't see what it was but I got a little closer within a few steps to see that there was a pair of antlers. At first, my friend and I thought it might have been a deer wandering around the area, so we just stopped and waited to see if it was a deer. But whatever it was then stood up on its hind legs, which I found kind of weird, since deer never do that. And then this is when things started to get really weird. My friend and I realized that it might have been some other creature. It wasn't a deer. It had a skull that seemed to be about resembles of a deer, and it had goat legs, long skinny arms, and it had a bony tail. It looked at us for a moment, and my horse was starting to get a little nervous out, and same with my other one. Same with my friend's other one. We decided maybe we should turn back and just avoid the creature. But the thing, whatever it was, then took off running in a diagonal direction, away from the farm, she just he just went over for one of the fences and dashed out of sight. I don't know what that creature was, and neither does my friend. So we decided that we would head back home, and we would just, well, wait and see what happened. So we went back to the barn, barn after we went around to see if there was any clues, but we couldn't find any. And as of that, we told our owner about the boss about what happened, and, and she had a pale look on her face. She said, there is this creature that has been said to be roaming around Canada and north of the U.S. It was something resembling to the skinwalker, but except it's a thousand times more dangerous and different compared to it. The name was a Wendigo, and it, people would confuse it as a deer or as someone pulling a prank. Since we were still going on with our time, we never saw that creature again. But surprisingly, though... I don't even know if I ever want to see it again. I haven't seen it again ever since I went back to that barn, but it was really freaky to say the least. For some context of what made this story to be absolutely terrifying is a question. My friend was about maybe 12 years old at the time, and she said that she used to go camping a lot in the summer with her family. Now, since she was 12 years old back in 20. 2010, she really still gets chills when she thinks about it. When her family and her were camping one day, day it was, was in a national forest that she went up to. We do have national forests here in Canada, and we do occasionally see some creatures, but this one was kind of something, as, as she went with her grandparents as well. We were doing what we normally would do, when suddenly something strange had happened. Now, what happened was at night, or at least when the middle of the day, her brother and herself were out in the forest and they were basically collecting firewood. 
As they were collecting firewood, her brother noticed something over for not far from where he was, and it would look to be like a pair of antlers. He assumed it might have been a deer, and that's what he thought it was, but it wasn't th the case when it was walking awkwardly. Of course, he did get a picture of what it looked like, but my friend couldn't really see it, so that was just basically it. Later on at night, when they were sleeping in the tent, Charlotte heard footsteps coming from her from the other side outside of her trailer. She looked over one of the windows to see that it was that, that person with the antlers, but it was standing on its hind legs for some reason. It didn't notice her, and she was getting quite disturbed by this creature. Not wanting to wake her parents, she stayed silent to watch the creature, but then it turned its head and walked over to what seemed to be be the window of the trailer. It just stared at her for at least a good few minutes when it when it was then startled by what seemed to be, be some other creature. It took off running into the night, never to be seen again. My friend didn't tell anyone about this story as she would think that they wouldn't believe her, but she still know what she saw that night. She just can't even begin to describe how freaky it was. To give a little background information, I was about 20 years old at the time of this story and it was the middle of the winter and it was around before Christmas time. So at this case, I had been the daring type of girl who would mainly go up and explore the place and stuff like that. I was really adventurous at the time of the story and I still am to this very day. Back at the stable where I used to ride, ride, I used to to take my horse down of over a trail, which of course was basically just around the the barn back of the field. Nothing too special, but it was just still something that I really know for a full in fact. It was pretty interesting. However, this was actually pretty freaky as I experienced this back in 2019. I was actually, actually pretty amazed to go on these kind of things and to get more privileges as my life goes on. However, something really freaky happened one night that I really didn't know, but it was not nighttime, but it was during the day. Now, during the day, I was riding in one of the horses, which of course I will call him Lachlan for the sake of the story. Now, I'm not gonna name any random people for all privacy reasons, but you could tell that I really was a really good good rider and I have been practicing even though we do mess up at times. There was even times where I would ride not great and there was times where I would ride pretty good the next week. It was really a pattern almost all the time but I got used to the pattern and it wasn't really that big of a deal. I just knew knew a lot about riding. Even though some people know about riding more than I do, I just have a lot of knowledge and I've gained it after their riding for about what seemed to be 11 years. Now. After my lesson one day, it was around around January or something like that, and it was pretty decent. It wasn't too cold, but it was was still pretty chilly, so so I was going around the hack, or, or in this case, going around the back of the property as I normally would do. It was starting to snow a little bit, so I was ready to, to turn back anytime if it got too worse that I, I couldn't see where I'm going. So... Instead of passing by the the pasture in the field I normally would do, I would just go on to the other way and go the other way and see what it looked like. As I was going the other way, I noticed something what seemed to be a creature, or at least in this case, a deer or, or a moose or elk something, or something was in the middle of the field. I looked over to see that it looked like a deer, and I thought, hmm, why, are, why would there be a deer there as deers would only come out very early in the day and they would usually run off if they ever see someone. I just stood there speechless, not knowing what to do, thinking it might have been a deer. I just pulled my horse to a stop as he had his ears on an alert. I had a feeling something was not right about this thing as I was just thinking maybe it might have been a wounded deer. So I was about to walk over to it, thinking it was a deer that was wounded, but I was dead wrong when it stand on its hind legs. Obviously, I was freaked out, like how would it stand on its hind legs? 
But then I realized something. My previous story that I mentioned last year or back in 2018, I noticed that it was some cryptic creature. And it just stared directly at me, me for at least a good second. I was honestly nervous and not sure what to do, thinking maybe whatever it was would go after me. As it looked at me, it then let out a kind of a weird sound. It's similar to a roar, but in a more weird tone. With that said, it ran off into the distance, never to be seen again. As I watched it, it went off into the distance. I tried to call it back, but it never came back. So I went to go get my boss, and she went out now to investigate it, that, and including her husband, who, who was, really, was really strict about people trespassing, saying, especially if it was someone one here to put harm to anybody. But they couldn't find the creature, and I still have not seen it since then. But I wonder, what was this creature doing? what it was and what it wanted. That still freaks me out today when I think about this story. Alright, so this kind of happened back when I was maybe a young teenager, probably when I was 14 or 15 years old. I had a gym teacher that used to take us into the forest to do some stuff, even we go walking on trails. The trails were really nice, although there were a couple roots and stuff along the way. But you could definitely tell there was a lot of stuff to do and there was a lot to go on. However, it was around fall and of course Halloween was about to approach, maybe in about two weeks. We were wandering around, around the forest with, with a group of students and there was even been a teacher with us with the dog. Now however, my friend, friend which we'll call her Rachel, was actually pretty nice. Now, I'm not going to give her last name out for personal reasons, but my friend and I were really adventurous back then. Me and my friend would go on adventures, and we would eventually see lots of different things. From things we found like, like valuable stuff gone missing in the woods, from garbage, and etc. Sometimes people who were smoking in the area would just come down for a fervor in the forest, but that was not the case a certain times. Now, since it was fall and it was start and the weather was starting to get cooler, we were walking in the forest with the group when we decided to turn to see that there was was a opening in the field. We walked over to the opening of the field and we were blessed to smell the, the crisp autumn smell feeling. It's the feeling that you usually get when it came close to winter. So it was pretty interesting to see and even hear about that, to say the least. However, something really freaky happened when suddenly my friend said, Do you see that over there? I looked over to see what it was, but it looked like a deer. We were watching it as it was going by. However, it stand on its hind legs. So the, I thought maybe somebody was pulling a prank. Usually I say that many times is because lots of people we did have pranksters back in when I used to go in high school. Back when I was, was in high school, we did have a couple prankster students that would use cryptid did costumes and stuff like that just to scare people. At this point, it was just staring directly at me and, oh, of course, my friend started to get really nervous. Rachel ended up going back to the group while I just stood there, obviously speechless, not sure what to do, but this thing was actually staring at the star at those at the ground as I was staring at the ground I was trying to back away when it snapped its attention towards me as I stepped on a twig it began walking towards me and I began to run off back to the group as I ran off back to the group I turned around thinking that creature followed but thank God that creature did not follow me and I was honestly very proud that it didn't thinking it might have already lost me I ended up returning to the group and I ended up telling them that I saw something in the woods. They asked me what it was and I thought it might have been a bear or someone but unfortunately that wasn't the case as I never saw that creature again. Every time I go in the woods and when I see see my friends with me I never saw that creature. I still don't know if it's still around that area to this day but I really like to think it's not. 
But yet again, that could be just me talking, gang, but I don't know. I still don't know to this day what this creature was, what it wanted, and etc. But regardless, I never saw it again. And I'm just sure as hell do not want to run into it again.